So today we're going to try to assemble a beer box mini. So I've got my guide, I've got the package conveniently wrapped in butcher paper, I've got some wood glue and my brad nailer. Okay, just checking I have all the pieces, two long side, two base, two short side, two long side tops with notches, two short side tops with the notches uh, for support pieces, and of course, my wood glue and my brad dealer. All right, I've got my first two edges glued in. Just enough, just enough glue to hold it. Uh, I chose not to leave a space. Um, there's just a really minute uh, amount of shrinkage or, or expansion we could expect with this, being typically indoors. There we go, first step. We're going to give that a couple of minutes to set up because the next step is I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put a couple of brad nails in. Uh, okay, I'm back again just as a reminder to let you know that glue does take more than 30 seconds to set up. Uh, when I picked up my box, it promptly fell apart. So back to setting up. <laughs> Let's let this, the uh, sun and the glue do its work. Okay, I am back. My glue is set. Looks pretty good. Both sides. Done pretty good. I got my box. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do a first brad nail. And a reminder for those people at home, this is not something you should do one-handed. Ah. <laughs> got it. Oops. I just shot that one right off the side. All right, here we go again. There, we got two in there. There we go, not perfect. Missed one, I can snip that off. All right, I've got the base of my box made now. And, not too bad. The, uh, I picked a uh, wood grain that I thought was kind of cool. Made sure Ivan's logo was straight, right way up, of course. And uh, just uh, tacked it with my uh, brad nailer and most of the work's being done by the glue. Good news is that glue will dry uh, clear. All right, so for the corner stakes, uh, given that they are going to have so much uh, strength to them or pressure on them, I figure the best thing to do is glue on the end and two contact sides. All right, there we go. So far, so good. I've got my uh, four verticals inside the box and it's glued in and just waiting for it to set up before I start putting on my top round with the notches for handhold. I figure I might as well utilize the uh, countertop or well, <laughs> in this case the, uh, the my plywood on top of crash on top of my trailer for my work workbench. Just occurring the verticals make sure I had it uh, nice and secure, I chose to use short brad staples to secure my verticals. I just want to be generous with the glue that I put on. I'm using, of course, uh, Armor Coat uh, Carpenter's Glue, and uh, the idea is that stuff's going to stick like a hot dam, and I, of course, uh, glued uh, to the side that's going to stick to the uprights. Once again, I'm going to let that dry, set up properly, before I add the end pieces that are still left right there. The idea is once this sets up, I will staple those as well and we will have both glue and staples holding those uprights and in the end, holding those uprights and in the end, uh, holding our beer. <laughs> and here we have it, one finished beer box mini. It's strong enough to hold a six pack or more of your favorite brew and all made out of cedar and uh, not too many mistakes that I made but uh, I think it's going to be pretty strong. Um, quite honestly didn't need to have the staples in there if uh, I had the patience to wait for the glue but uh, as you can see uh, it's working just fine and here we go. Thank you Ivan for cutting all this wood and following the trees and providing the kit. All right, now that I've got my uh, stained beer box mini, I think it's time to do a little staining. I just happen to have some uh, black 
transparent uh, stain left over from the fence I did. We're going to give that one a shot. Yes, we are going to. Nice uh, bristle brush for it. If you're going to stain and your stain's been sitting around for a while, be sure to give it a good stir. There's going to be some sediment on the bottom of it. Bring that color, guys. Black. Actually, it's uh, slate. It's a little bit off black. And it's uh, semi transparent, so it should show the wood through nicely. Uh, I noticed a little trick I did of putting holes in the rim so that if you have any uh, spillage on the top, it'll drain back in and you won't uh, have splatter when you go to, to hit that uh, uh, lid back on. All right, here goes. Check out that color, hey? All right, let's start to brush that on. With the, um, just how rough um, and uh, rustic the cedar is, I figure it's best to uh, use a brush and just sop it on nice and thick. Make sure it's not going to go anywhere but into those into the uh, into the wood nice and dark so how's that guys what do you think of that eh? I think they end up being pretty nice I'm gonna have to keep going on this and uh, we'll see how that turns out and I'm gonna shut the video off. all right I told you I would try to do a stain that's why I have my slate uh, black and this is the end result so basically I have my own personalized box that is in a slate gray and uh, I'm sure all you purists out there will be thinking what the hell did he do um, but actually what I did was I personalized it for me and uh, just really hoping that, uh, that you do the same all right take care have fun the beer box mini stained slate gray see right through it ta-da and there we go people i hope you like it beer box mini come check it out